Hello, nice to see you again. And we are here to talk about Category 4. Can you tell us something about you and your category? Well, um, I'm uh, breeding Oriental and uh, Siamese cats that uh, belong to Category, category 4. And um, um, it is, has, has been some changes in our uh, association. So now uh, there's more cats in Category 4 than before. Before it was only Oriental and Siamese cats. Mm -hmm. And now, now there's the other breeds like Sphinx, Somali, mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's some more which yeah. I can remember now. But, uh, what is your category name? My category name is Tanarat. Okay. And it comes from uh, this um, uh, <coughs> uh, field marshal to Siam queen, king, you know, the, in the yeah. old days. So the name comes from him, you know. So they say, because the cat traditionally comes from Thailand, which was Siam before. And uh, I wanted to continue to having the roots somewhere, so I choose that name. You know. I know that our Italian friend have a question about category four. Yeah. What do you think about Thai? Uh, which one? Thai. You know the the um, older semis breed that is now called Thai. Ah, okay. Uh, <coughs> well, Thai is the original cat, you know, basically, uh, and. Uh, <coughs> um, then they started selecting cats that were more slender and, uh, you know, typed, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, developing the more the modern type, you know, but uh, I think both of them have their place, you know, of course. Okay. And there's people who always think it's a bit strange with cats that are so long and slender and uh, slim, you know, they rather like this little bit rounded, uh, uh, rounded cat, you know, with yeah. the softness, you know, and um, I understand that, you know, and... Uh, <clears throat> basically, my, I'm, you know, like, I'm, you know, like, because, you know, uh, there's a very modern type now mm -hmm. at the moment, which is very extreme, and uh, I think I'm a little bit more, I uh, would say, old-fashioned, you know, I like sort of to stay uh, where the standard is uh, with the cats, and, you know, and at the moment I'm breeding both of, uh, both of them, okay. Siamese, the Siamese I have, they are pure breed Siamese, and uh, then the Oriental like, like to keep them separated, you know. Okay, okay. So now let's start to see nomination about Category 4, so we can start to, to see how Spanish cat uh, looks like in Category yeah. 4. Okay. So here we have an Oriental, a chocolate. Yeah, this is a F3, so it's a crossbreeding project. There's a mm -hmm. Russian blue in this cat, you know, but I think it's amazing actually how how much the Oriental is dominating, uh, 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 nominating in this cat. You know, you can't hardly see that there's been any Russian blue uh, used yeah, in these lines. True. You know, and uh, I think personally I like because you know uh, it's not uh, too extreme. You know, it, it has very it's good. Balanced. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, like not so long ago, she was actually a little bit more slim, but now I think she has got a little bit muscle, uh, muscled and I like maybe the eyes could be more more slanted you know more oriental they're a bit round but the eye color is perfect you know I really uh, love the profile of yeah, this devil profile Rex. Is perfect, it's uh, you know, really perfect and uh, the color is even yeah. and very warm chocolate you know but uh, the, the oriental won the nomination and uh, yeah, yeah. so it's it's nice to see that uh, Mm, uh, uh. Yeah, and it has very it's nice easier, expression. Yeah. It's really Beautiful. extreme, boy, yeah, in any yeah, case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but still, you know, it's not like, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, the ears are nicely, you know, you can see the ears are open, you know, they're not going down, yeah, yeah, they're not yeah. flappy, you know, and, uh, but I mean, everybody has their taste, you know, uh, in this, you know, so, I mean, I, you know, it's just a matter of yeah. personal uh, liking, you know. So. It's uh, a yeah. work cameraman loves him because uh, yeah. <laughs> he is really particular. Apusinian, we don't actually here in Spain, we don't have so many Apusinian cats. And uh, I must say, I, I don't know them that that well personally, you know. Yeah, it's except it's the examples I've been seeing here, you know. And uh, um, <clears throat> As you can see, this cat is beautiful, you know. Yeah, it's beautiful. In I don't actually know this standard very well. Uh, so here we have again our friend. Yeah. 
Is this black? Right? This is a yeah, ebony oriental, you yeah. know, and uh, beautiful, really beautiful, it's nice puppy. expression. It's a you kitten. Know. Yeah. You got kitten, illumination. Uh, yeah. Okay, again an uh, uh, abyss. So, um, I really like the expression of this cat. Yeah, and, uh, yeah the exactly. It has this yeah. uh, nice Abyssinian look, you know, but <laughs> maybe the body could be a little bit more elegant. Uh, yeah, they are uh, elegant and uh, I really like their temperament. They look yeah. really clever cats. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is a very nice uh, ebony. I like, like a lot, you know. Nice profile, you know. Uh, very nice triangular head, uh, long, elegant, you know, beautiful. It was not so easy, I think, to choose one winner between them because uh, they are both really great cats. Yeah. I really but like you can see that th th there's a lot of elegance in this cat. Yeah, I look the body of the Really nice lines, yeah. you know. Uh, also the profile, it's really nice, this boy. Yeah, exactly. And nice, I like the eyes, the eye color was very good. Uh, the ears are, you know, the big, but uh, they are, you know, like still moderate. They are not like, mm -hmm. you know, overly huge, you know, so they fit to the body. And very, very nice expression. Yeah, really nice yeah. expression. So, okay, here we have a Sphinx. Sphinx, yeah, and, and the, the Russian bl blue. Russian blue. Yeah. I like this Russian blue a lot, you know, it's more the American type. Uh, not the not the Russian type, yeah. you know. And, uh, but really maybe like she's still developing, you know. She needs a little bit more time. It's really time nice to get profile, the, by the way. I the eye color is uh, amazing, you know. And uh, I think the coat is also nice, silvery blue, you know. Um, and then we have nice the things here. Is really yeah. nice. Uh, I, I really like his expression. I think the ears could be maybe a little bit more up. Uh, not so separate from the part and they're going a little bit down to the side I think they should be more like but uh, very nice lemon shaped eyes like nice it. color yeah. I like the coloring a lot I, I, I love the profile of this this cat I don't know if it's a boy or a yeah. girl but uh, it's really hard to see I think it's a female it's because female? Uh, yeah it's true uh, I know the Russian blue she's female okay so. okay <laughs> and you know, actually, you know, like earlier I had, you know, like, I mean, before I met Sphinx and, you know, you know, saw them, you know, more, you know, like I, I had this little, oh my God, you know, you know, that they look a little bit like too much like alien or, you know, <laughs> but um, they're actually very sweet and, you know, when you touch them, you know, they're actually very soft and nice and warm. So, you know, in a way, my, uh, uh, way to look at them has changed definitely. People think that uh, when you have a cat of category four, yeah. there are no grooming at all. Yeah. It's, is it true? You is it true? You just take the cat from home and bring to the show? No, not with the things. You have to wash, the, wash them a lot just before the show because uh, they, um, <clears throat> I don't know how it's called, it's like sort of uh, Crease they uh, produce yeah, yeah, in their yeah. skin, you know. And for yeah. Oriental, you have to wash them Ori yeah, as well. Most, especially like uh, if you have a male, that's an active male, you know. Mm -hmm. So they also collect the crease around the tail. Yeah. And, you know, they might be smelly because they spray, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's good to wash them, and you know, they're more better presented, you know. Do you think? Okay, not about Sphinx because there is no coat, but uh, in other breed of category four that uh, uh, a good grooming work uh, means a lot or uh, in this no, case no? Not no, not really because it's a short hair cat, you know. Uh, maybe there's Somali, I don't know actually how much they need grooming, but I think mostly it's enough that you just wash them before yeah. the show, yeah, maybe a yeah, yeah. day or two before and with nice product, you know, and then, then that should be enough, you know. And of course you check that the nails are cut, you know, the ears, especially with the oriental, you shave the ears, okay. so you don't have hair growing in the ear, so the ears look more open, you know, and, um, you know, overall you look that they look fine and healthy, of course, that's very important. If you have to give an advice to other Spanish breeder about category four, and uh, in special about oriental and uh, siamesis, what, uh, what you should say? 
Well, you know, like oh, I think the breed is we are responsible that uh, the cats, uh, that, you know, I think at the moment maybe. Of course, this is a you know beauty com competition. We want the cats looks really gorgeous and you know all that. But I think sometimes we pay too much attention to the look, you know. But we also have to think how the cat is, you know, like the temper, you know, like how do you how how do you handle them, you know, um, other stuff. So in breeding, you have to also select these type of things, you know, because you know we can have beautiful cats, but if they behave really badly, then it's you know that quite impossible to have them as good show cat, you know, mm -hmm. because as you know here there's a lot of noise and hassle and things happening, yeah. so you have to be able to handle the cat, you know, and uh, but I think mostly, you know, exactly the category 4 breeds, they are very nice tempered, you know, uh, yeah. most of the time, you know, and very easy to handle. I don't often find them very aggressive, like maybe there's other breeds that might show more that um, maybe Russian blue, I often notice that they were quite witty, you know, sort mm -hmm, of, uh, yeah. you know, like moving a lot and, you know, like making sounds and uh, also Bengal, which is not in category four, but, uh, but, uh, but mostly I think, uh, but, you know, you know, there's many things in, in breeding and, you know, like, and I think, you know, like people who show they, they cats, they mostly know how to present them, you know, and... Uh, is it... Um, do you think that uh, uh, Spanish level of four category is uh, higher or uh, there is still a lot uh, to work? We have a lot, lot to do. Uh, we have a lot of work. First of all, category four cats, there are really few here in Spain. Uh, we have lots of... Um, Sphinx is the biggest group. Uh, okay. Whenever we go to exhibition, there's most things. Okay. And uh, then it's uh, Norwegian, Maine Coon, Bengals, other breeds, but exactly Orientals, they are not very popular, Russian Blue, Abyssinian, we don't have so many of them. So, so it would be nice to get more breeds, also some other breeds, like uh, this little unknown breeds like Korat, yeah. for example, you know, uh, Singapura, you know, just a nice breeds in the category. Yeah, for but uh, they are really few in uh, all Europe, Korat and Singapore, I think. Uh. Yeah, yeah. I don't actually even know if it's Singapore in category four or I is it in, no. in three, you know, but, actually, but anyway, yeah, there's, you know, but it would be nice uh, <clears throat> to get more cats, you know, into competition, definitely. And, um, uh, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, it's just not so popular here in Spain at the moment. Maybe it's yeah. changing, you know, maybe in future. Do you think that uh, there is a country uh, who have uh, the best uh, Oriental, actually? Well, you can never say that. I mean, there's every country, there's uh, <clears throat> nice examples, you know, and, uh, and I can't really point any country. But, you know, like if you, it, it depends what type, if you look, you know, like more this modern type, extreme type of cat, then you have to go to Russia. They really have it, you know, and okay. uh, they have a lot of really gorgeous uh, modern type uh, cat, you know. Also, I think Holland is coming uh, uh, very, you know, high okay. in, in the level at the moment, you know. But, you know, there's, you know, in many countries there's good uh, uh, oriental breeders and uh, and it is a little bit of a matter of the taste, you know, like... Uh, we will see a lot of Sphinx tomorrow at the best in show. Yeah. As they, they almost won uh, every nomination that yeah. we see right now. But, be, but it is, you know, exactly that, because we have so many of them. Yeah. And there's a lot of breeding of it, you know, and there's a better selection of it, you know. But of if course. you have two, three person uh, breeding Orientals and uh, they have a litter once or twice in a year, and uh, they select, you know, it's very little, you, you know, I can't keep myself more, yeah, than, oh, more yeah. the cats than I have, and I have 14 at the moment, and okay. some of them have to go, uh, they have to keep them and so, but, you know, um, um, I can't have so many, yeah. but if there was many other people doing it, then we would, of course, have more selection, more breeding, and more competition as well, you know. And, uh, you know, like, I think, uh, it's a little advertisement, but would be nice for the people, you know, when we have shows, you know, uh, to come more from outside, you know, because we have, we don't have big shows, you know, and uh, 
Uh, Spain is very nice, the weather is often very nice, you know, especially in the spring or in the uh, uh, autumn, you know, so they could put their vocation and, you know, hobby together and have a little trip oh, here. Yeah, you're all right. How long is that you are breeding? Uh, uh, I've been breeding since 2011, so I'm a new breeder and, okay. you know, I'm still uh, looking my style and developing my lines, you know, and uh, so I don't have many cats under my category name yet, so I have mostly imported cats, you know. And I must say that, you know, like maybe <clears throat> in the beginning I did all the mistakes like the new people do, you know, I didn't have a mentor, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I was, you know, sort of, you know, seeing cats like on Facebook and think, oh wow, you know, like I would like to have that one and then I just went for it, you know, not really checking the background, you know. Uh, so now I'm happy that I have a person I can consultate uh, with my choices and my plans and, you know, like, uh, and of course, uh, with the time you become more, more and more uh, wise and, you know, you just don't get into these things okay. anymore so easily. So, um, so, but of course, you know, like, as I said, I hope to see some results and, you know, work with my lines I have at the moment and see what's coming out and, you know, like, and then seek other solution if it's not turning out to be good, you know. So, breeding is always interesting in that sense because you're never ready, you never get there where you want to be and, you know, and we are together with living animals and, and for me, uh, I do it because I love cats and especially that breed. Uh, so I don't go so much after that it has to be uh, winning cats, you know, and, uh, uh, and that I have to breed a lot and sell a lot. And because, we, you know, mostly you don't earn money, you just spend money on them, you know, so. Uh, so, but of course, I like to see some results later in the future, so hopefully, and then we we'll see if, um, if the choices have made if they are right ones. You know, so. Okay. Do you have uh, any advice for people that start breeding uh, uh, Oriental uh, in, in this period? Yeah, get mentored. Okay. People who have experience who know about the cats and breeds and the different lines and, you know, mm -hmm. don't do any hasty, you know, decisions, you know, and uh, it's better to go forward slowly uh, with a few good cats than having, ending up with the uh, then bad ones and try to, you know, get something out of them, so, because there's always, you know, I think the planning is very important, you know, uh, <clears throat> which I didn't know in the beginning, you know, like, it, it, I was very emotional, you know, yeah. I got attracted to some look of the cats, but, you know, but then you learn again when you go to show, you learn what is, uh, <clears throat> you know, what the judges are also, you know, uh, you know, saying about the standard and, you know, like, um, but, you know, like as I said, for me, you know, it's important that the cat has also a good temper, you know, and sometimes, personally, I maybe, you know, let that go mm -hmm. before uh, the looks. Was this your okay. mother? Okay. And, uh, I just got so dry in my mouth. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Oh, not at all. You know, I hope I could help, you know, <laughs> um, as a new And uh, it was person. really nice to meet you and to talk with you. Yeah, and uh, we same. will see you again in a few minutes talking about Category 3. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you.